welcome back. A Kiwi celebrity is putting his weight behind New Zealand's first ever sexual abuse survivors summit. Aaron Gilmore of Dancing with the Stars fame was abused for more than five years and will draw on his experience to be a key speaker at the event in Auckland. Kim Vanell has the story. Aaron Gilmore was just 12 years old when he was first sexually abused by a woman 23 years his senior. When I first met her, she was just someone that was very, very kind and caring. So, you know, to have someone that was showing their interest, um, it was like a second mum. The woman, Margaret Shasky, continued the abuse for more than five years. There's a real learned helplessness about it, and also I saw it was my fault. Aaron went on to have a successful dancing career. Now he's using that profile to raise awareness for male sexual abuse, ahead of the first Sexual Abuse Survivors Summit. I think it is much more uh, acceptable for, for females to go to counselling or to seek help. It's not really a traditional male response to, uh, to having problems. They deal with things by themselves. It's thought the number of boys abused before they hit 16 is around 1 in 8. But Ken Clearwater, who heads the Male Survivors of Sexual Abuse Trust, says it's closer to 1 in 3. It's just the fact that men and boys really struggle to come forward in our male culture to talk about being a victim of childhood sexual abuse or even adult men who have been raped, it's really hard for them to come forward and disclose that. Some researchers suggest the country's prisons hold many male sexual abuse victims as because studies show males often respond to their abuse violently later in life. The summit already has around 100 people registered to attend and less than a quarter of those are men. Kim Vanell, One News.